What is going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can do a quick cinematic text change. Okay, so just before I get into this video, let's say this is a request tutorial, as you'll see right here, I got this Ask Me on Twitter. With that being said, if you'd like to request a tutorial, be sure to leave it in the comments below or Ask Me on Twitter. Okay, again, straight into the video, and yeah, I'm doing this in Sony Vegas Pro 12, but it works in 11 and 13, of course. So, you need media generators right here, or of course, you can use a picture for this. If you don't have this right here, media generators, come to View, come to Windows Layout, and just press Default Layout, and then you'll have it. So, I'm going to add this on right here, Soft Shadow. So first of all, we're going to call the text whatever you want, so I'm going to call it your, oops, I'm going to call it your, and then the next text is going to be called name. So that is the basic start. So what you need to do is shorten it down to about three or four seconds. It's completely up to you. Personally, I want to pick three for the start, so just press S on your keyboard and split it, and then do the same for the next one as well. So this will be at six seconds. S and delete. So I'm just going to add, so first of all it says your name, now I'm going to put uh, channel, I, I don't know what to put but this is just a little template of like what you actually have to do, so just put different types of text, so again make this 3 seconds, you can see it's on 6 seconds at the moment, so we're going to go to 9 seconds and stop it right there, and I'm going to add like 5 of these on right here, which is going to be 3 seconds, so uh, again I don't know what to put, I'm just going to put subscribe. And again, now it's on 9 seconds, we're going to make it to 12 seconds. Go ahead and shorten it down. And then I'm going to do one more. And I'm going to put like. And then again, 15 seconds, because it's an extra 3 seconds, like that. Shorten it down. And yeah, this is what we've got so far. Just simple, straight up text like that. But, of course, we wanted to make it zoom in fast. So how do we do this? Come to the start, come to the event pattern crop, make sure sync cursor is checked. Now, press here, and zoom out with the mouse wheel, and then drag the corner, and drag it all the way out. Now, come to the start here, click that keyframe, the top one, press Control c to copy it. Now, what you want to do is come to the start of all of these, and just go ahead, paste it in like that. So that's what you need to do. Just go ahead, event pattern crop, Click the top one and control V. And then I'll be back to you when I've done this. Okay, so I've finally done that. And you can see at the moment it's just going to be small text. So now we do the zoom in effect. So come to the end of this here. Come to the event pan and crop. And now this is really basic. Come to the end again. Make sure the sync cursor is checked. Click restore just to bring it back here. And we want to zoom it in all the way, far as possible, until you see the dot like this. That is what you basically want. And then you got to do that for all of them again. So come to the end of your second text, goes right click restore, and just zoom it all the way in until you can get it as small as possible. So again, I'm going to do this for all of them and I'll be back to you when it's done. So I've just finished it off and let's see what we got so far. Boom. And boom. And it is that simple. That is how you do it. And then of course you can see that is only three, that is three seconds, it's pretty slow to be honest. So probably 1.50 sec, well 1.20 seconds would be a good one to go for, or 1.15. I think that's the one I used in the trailer. But anyway, you get the idea, that is how simple it is. And then you just got to keep going like that, and then just go ahead and render it out. Of course, if you want the transition to go faster, go ahead and shorten the clips down. But be warned, if you can see, if we shorten the clip down for, for one we've already done the event pattern crop for, you can see it's not going to be the same, so that means you're going to have to come back to the event pattern crop and sort it all out again. Come back and just do it all over again, like so. And then you'll see, much faster, like that. So you get the idea of it, it's really simple to do, it's a really nice effect. So yeah, that is it for this video, hopefully you've enjoyed it and hopefully you know how to do this transition now, it's really simple and really quick to do. Like I said at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial on Tony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Effects, or even Cinema 4D, then be sure to leave in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. With that being said, be sure to go ahead and follow me on Twitter, I'll keep you updated when I'm reposting and what I'm reposting. Also, be sure to go ahead and check out my gaming channel, I post 3 to 4 times a week. And finally, be sure to have my Snapchat or just show you what I do throughout my day. See, so yeah, it's been Casual Savage here, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.